Okay, here's a tutorial for uh, Lessons in Love, Mark King, level 42. Someone asked me to do a tutorial of this and I'm, I was surprised that there isn't one already on YouTube, but um, there isn't, so here we go. So this bass line, it's not difficult as in the notes, but it's really hard to keep up with the original and the speed without your uh, right hand kind of cramping up. So the best thing to do is try and be really relaxed with it. I'll go through the, the notes quickly. So the intro, which is the same as the kind of middle section, is uh, E, D, C, then E, D, A. Then we go down uh, C, B, A. G, but you can bend the B to a C. So with these also you could play the chord, so you'd play a 158. Yeah, so that would be. Okay, then we go to the main rhythm, which is basically so you're kind of going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, this is the thing that's hard to uh, keep this up for three or four minutes, however long. So what I've done is I'm making a, a backing track. The original tempo is something like 113 BPM, so I'll do a backing track about 10 BPM slower, and that would be a good idea to play along with that, play a few times and get nice and relaxed, and then try and play to the original speed. But quite often, if you try and play at the original speed, about halfway through you'll start cramping up, so, um, you have to be incredibly relaxed with your wrist. You can, I mean, some people I see play that they do like a double tap. Or, you know, a note. But if you listen to the bass line, really every note is sounded, so it's... Instead of yeah, if you played it with those taps, it's really just doing this, and you want to hear. Okay. Anyway, right. So what we're dealing with is triads, major and minor. So you have a G major triad, which is G. 3rd fret E string, B, 2nd fret A string, D, 5th fret A string, and then the octave of G, 5th fret G uh, D string. Okay, then you do the same uh, shape in B, so B major. Now, I'll just go through the, the notes. Then we do an E minor. Now the minor shape would be this, but we have to play this on the um, at the low E. So low E, G, B, E. Then C major, C, E, G, and another C. So that's the verse. G major. Major, E minor, C major. Now there's different ways you could play the the G, the B here if you wanted to. But it's about um, I 
tend to play it here, the B, because I'd rather slap this D string than this G. So that's the verse, the last bit of the verse going into the, the chorus. When you go to the E, uh, you just play, so you play, um, this would be the last bit of the verse, so the G, B, now here the E, you, so you do the E, G, B, and then you play A, B, C, so you go. into the chorus. Yeah, into the chorus. So the chorus again triads C major, A minor. Now again you've got different ways of playing that. So A, C, E, octave of A. You could play or it's just up to you really but we need to go from A minor to B major so I think Mark King uses the open A so he gets a C major C E G C open A C E a, now to the B major, B, E flat, G flat, B, E minor. So you've got C major, A minor, B major, E minor. And then on the last E, before we go back into the verse, instead of you doing the, the minor triad, you're just going to go E, octave E, then two Ds. And you can put in a, like a little tap. Then back into the verse, G major, B major, E minor, C major. Then we do uh, same thing into another, yeah, into the chorus again. With the so the the second chorus, which I think is a double chorus. Uh, hang on. Yeah, then it goes to the middle section, which is the, um, the same as the intro. Now this time you could play, you know, you could play a rhythm. So yeah, same as the, um, or you could play the chords. E, D, C. E, it's D, A. Then we're going to go into the, the kind of middle section. Now that's G major, same triads. F major, so that would be an F, open A, C, octave of F. C 
C major. D major. So that's G. F. C. D. And that's that's pretty much it. So the main thing you've got to think about is, you know, once you've decided where you want to play the the patterns, it depends if you kind of prefer slapping on these the G string or the or the D. I mean, if you were thinking of playing this live and you haven't got a synth bass underneath then it's even harder to kind of make it sound good because you really need to have every note sounding so you can't kind of get away with the all the kind of taps you almost have to sort of kind of play chords with this up so with that C you end up with that kind of chord shape After that middle section, it goes. It has the guitar solo, but the guitar solo plays over the same uh, pattern as the verse. So that's the G, B, E minor, C major. 